Hello Internet and welcome to a new tutorial. So if you've been following this channel, you might have already know how much I love Silent One and what a special synthesizer I consider it to be. To a point that I've already made a preset pack for it, which is coming really, really, really soon. So keep an eye on the channel, but that's not today's subject. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to make like time melting textures inside of Silent One, thanks to this little feature in it. And I will talk about it in a few. With this feature, we can actually make all kind of crazy stuff. So please don't limit yourself to the patch I'm going to show you today. And uh, yeah, with this, let's start our tutorial. So here we have an empty MIDI channel. I'm going to load Silent One. Uh, and yeah, let's just initialize everything. Yeah, just a saw with nothing too special. So the idea is let's take a noise oscillator in here and let's take down the volume because the noise is really loud. And the whole essence of this trick is to unsync the synthesizer. So when you when you unsync it, for example with the delay you can go down to 0 0.025 seconds or like 25 milliseconds and you know with this we can create uh those like tristan or nano style percussions and this is actually what we're going to do so if i'll turn up the dry and wet knob here like i'll turn it wet 100 percent give it some feedback check this out and i have to turn on the delay Now let's turn down ping pong in here to take it off. Pretty nice. Now, yeah, we can't really tune it to all the notes. And actually, I don't really want to make like a nano style tune percussion, but this is the starting point of the patch. So we have this. But now if you go to the phaser, turn it on and look at the LFO rate that we have now. So we can go from zero point 051 hertz up to 235 hertz to the audible range so basically i think now you're you're starting to see where i'm going with this so if i'll just give it some lfo gain in here just a tiny bit give it some feedback set the dry and wet you're like 100 wet and check this out let's give it more lfo gain more feedback and play with the center frequency Starting to get some like weird stuff. Let's play with the spread. Right, let's uh, take down the delay a little bit, take it off. those nasty you know like uh, textures let's give it the delay back and just give it some like low cut but now when the delay is set to these settings especially when it's wet 100 percent the low cut and high cut in here will actually play like a filter if that makes sense Pretty nasty. Now, what I'll do, since the synthesizer is unsynced, I'll uh, actually take down the LFO in here, take it off, and I'll use the normal LFO. I'll set it to square pulse and check the rate in here. We can go up to 235.200 hertz. So basically, again, the audible range. And yeah, let's make it modulate the phaser frequency just a tiny bit. <laughs> Pretty crazy. So now what I'll do, I'll load up an arpeggiator. You can use, you know, the one in Silent One. I'll use the one from Altar of Wisdom, Autoplay. Uh, and, you know, set the time division to one. And yeah, I want it to just play one at 16th. And uh, um, we're making a plucky 
uh, like type of sound. So for this, I'll just set just a tiny bit of decay like this and take down the sustain. What I love in the um, envelopes of Silent One is that they're really, really, really plucky. So now we have this take off autoplay for a sec. Pretty nice. I'll take turn on autoplay again, and uh, yeah, with autoplay we can play with the length processing. So we, uh, you know, with the gate length, so we can actually make it even pluckier if that makes sense. Um, and actually, I'm not using the arpeggiator of Silent One for a reason, which I'll show you in a few why. But for now, let's just draw a really long MIDI pattern in here, and uh, I'll. Just put an E, like so. We're in the key of E in this uh, in this track, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm just going to set it to E because yeah, it's an E. But again, you'll see it doesn't really matter if we set the right note or not. So, anyways, now we have this. Nothing too special. So what I'll do, I'll load the note and random device from my good friend Mute Productions. Uh, you can check the his channel uh, in the link below. So what note and random will do is, you know, it's just like a sample and hold. And every time I will fire a new note, it's going to fire a new value. And with this, actually, I'm going to modulate the center frequency of the phaser. So. Let's map it, and now let's check what we have. I'm going to play with the minimum and maximum value, you know, to get like this sweet spot that we have in here. Pretty nice. But yeah, that's not time melting. So how are we going to make this time melting uh, thing? So what I'm going to do, I'll group Silent One. And yeah, sorry for all the people that doesn't use Ableton, uh, because you're going to have to do what I'll do in one automation. You have to do it with two automations, if that makes sense. So uh, what I'll do is actually I'm going to map the delay times in here as like modulation sources and, and I'll map them to the first macro in here. Uh, I'll call this macro, I don't know, delay time maybe. So check this out, not what we have. Pretty crazy, huh? Now, what I'll do, I'll click on the map button here and I'll set the maximum modulation value to 0 0.5. Um, this is like an approximate value because, uh, you know, you can go really in detail, but I want to make it simple for the sake of the tutorial. So now we have this range of modulation. Pretty nice. And to spice it up even more, what I'll do, I'll set a bandpass filter in here and I'll can set it as a modulation destination here and I'll map it to the macro in here. So I can actually modulate both parameters with my push. So now if I'll hit, and I'll give it some resonance and if I'll hit play, check this out. Okay, pretty nice. Now what I'll do, I'll use the same LFO in here. Actually, no, I'll take the second LFO in here. Uh, by the way, I don't know why the rate of this one is really slow. It should be really fast. Uh, yeah, actually, I'll use the first LFO in here and I'll make it modulate the cutoff of the first filter or filter A. So now we have this. And now all you have to do is just uh, draw, I'll give it, you know, some delay and then I'll just draw these modulations that I've just did. And in here, what I've done is I've sent some of the 
signal to a send channel in which I have echo boy a delay. So yeah, we can just get a random one and eight, uh, normal one and eight dotted ping pong delay. So now let's record these automations. This should be good. I'll just take down a little bit the modulation on the cutoff. And now let's hear what we have. Pretty, pretty, pretty weird stuff like time melting textures. And just imagine what you can do if you've added, I don't know, some effects behind this one. Like, for instance, I don't know, infiltrator or something like, like that. I, you know, it's just so crazy, so yeah, organic. I, I really love it. And uh, yeah, we can use this technique just to create all kind of like crazy time melting stuff and and not only you know time melting stuff um so yeah uh with this this is the end of this tutorial i really hope you've liked it i really hope you've learned something new and if so and if you want to help me make more psychedelic content and more psychedelic music you can always consider becoming one of my patrons or buy my preset packs on gumroad or you know just leave a like comment subscribe all you know all the good stuff uh and yeah have a great one